The brothers who appeared in juvenile court here today are aged 15 and 16. Both are students and athletes here in Frederick. The Friday night assault captured on video and widely posted on sites like LiveLeak.com shows the younger brother assaulting a 59-year-old man while the older brother spits on him. The victim was John Marvin Weed of Mount Airy, Maryland. In court today, prosecutors said the attack was a completely random act of violence ending in the death of a complete stranger and that the incident started when the boys asked Weed for a dollar and he walked away from them after a verbal interchange that's under investigation. Here's state's attorney Smith. The juveniles asked this man for a dollar. Uh, there was some sort of dialogue that ensued after that. There was a punch that was delivered to the back of the head by the 16-year-old. At that point in time, there was a number of minutes that, that elapsed after that, at which point in time you all saw the video. The younger 15-year-old comes flying through lands a deadly blow to the victim, unfortunately. Meanwhile, a weekend of social media outrage claims the attack was part of a knockout game or that it was racially motivated. Smith said there is currently no evidence either is true, but the investigation is not complete. Spitting on someone is not a hate crime. Maryland law is extremely specific about what constitutes a hate crime. Uh, right now, uh, what we know is it was over a dollar bill. Uh, it wasn't over race, but again, that's a question we have as well. So we're going to pursue that. If the facts warrant uh, a charge of a, of a hate crime, we'll charge it. If they don't, then we're not going to try to chase something that doesn't exist. The brothers' tearful parents were in court today. They were asking the juvenile court judge to release the boys into their custody. The brothers' father said the boys were good kids who made a terrible mistake and who've never been in trouble before. Juvenile court judge Julie Solt said, the boys should stay in detention for at least another 30 days while the case is under investigation. In Frederick, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.